Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Today, I would like to discuss my vision for the future of gun sites, complete with a demonstration of some proof-of-concept prototypes. However, before I get into that, a bit of background is probably in order. Throughout most of the 20th century, conventional wisdom held that you should never put anything electronic on a tactical firearm because chances were that when you actually needed it, the batteries would be dead. However, in the past decade or so, we've seen a veritable revolution in the use of electronic sights, including holographic reflex sights, red dot scopes, both magnified and unmagnified, and even fully digital rifle scopes. And yet, personally, I think that what we have seen so far is just the tip of the iceberg. Holographic sights and unmagnified red dot scopes generally offer unlimited eye relief, which in turn allows for faster target acquisition, but magnified optics generally allow for greater precision. Unfortunately, it is not possible to produce magnified scopes with unlimited eye relief using conventional methods. However, this is possible with digital rifle scope technology. Instead of transmitting light directly to the shooter's eye through a series of lenses, a digital rifle scope uses a digital camera sensor to capture incoming light and displays the sight picture on a screen. Since the screen is a flat image, it can be viewed from any distance or angle, giving the scope unlimited eye relief independent of the level of magnification. There are already a variety of self-contained digital rifle scopes on the market, but most of them are egregiously expensive, and the technology seems to have gained little popularity outside of niche applications like night vision. However, I think the key to making this technology more widely applicable, and indeed the veritable future of gun sights, lies in what might be termed the modular digital rifle scope. Fundamentally, a digital rifle scope is comprised of three elements. A camera, a microprocessor, and a display. Existing digital rifle scopes integrate all three of these elements into one self-contained package. But suppose instead that we separated them. Really, only the camera needs to be rigidly mounted on the gun since its position relative to the barrel will determine the apparent point of impact. Thus, if deploying digital sights across several firearms, one way to make the system cheaper is to have a single processor and display unit that is easily attached and detached, and only have separate cameras on the separate rifles. For that matter, a common smartphone already has the necessary processing power and display capabilities. In its most economical embodiment, the modular digital sighting system might consist simply of a basic camera that could be rigidly mounted to the firearm in question, and a simple bracket to hold a phone at a convenient position for aiming, with an app that would display the camera signal. The camera need not incorporate a physical crosshair either. Instead, the display app could superimpose a reticle on the image. This would not only allow the sighting system to be digitally zeroed, but would allow the user to save and load an unlimited number of reticle positions so that it could be zeroed for several different loads and different ranges on different firearms. In the case of distance, perhaps the app would even be capable of interpolating between two saved reticle positions to give an automatic estimate of the point of impact at a given range. I decided to try and put together an initial proof-of-concept prototype to better demonstrate and explore the feasibility of this system. I don't think there is any question about the feasibility of programming an app as described above, provided that the signal from the camera was accessible. However, graphical application programming is not my specialty. Thus, for this initial proof of concept, I picked up an A9 compact wireless security camera for about $20 and mounted it on the eyepiece of an old scope that I already had. 
This allowed me to zero the scope using traditional methods and use the native display app to view the signal from the camera rather than having to write an app that would superimpose a crosshair on the video signal. Then I machined a simple bracket that would allow me to mount my old iPhone on a Picatinny rail. The picture quality left something to be desired. The camera was designed to be used indoors, and outside in full sunlight, the sensor saturated to the point where the color depth degenerated, leaving me with a functionally black and white picture that, in all actuality, was mostly just white. Also, the camera resolution is advertised as 720p, but I think its effective resolution is more like 320p. I guess that's what I get for buying a $20 camera that was never designed for this application. Also, there was about a half second of lag in the video, which didn't matter much for shooting static targets, but would be a problem for dynamic tactical usage. That said, in spite of the poor picture quality, I was able to shoot targets about as accurately using this system as I could have using a normal scope. However, where you have to have your eye directly behind a normal scope in order to look through it, with this system, if I wanted to shoot around an obstacle, I could simply rotate my phone on the mount. This capability has obvious tactical advantages, as it allows the shooter to take precise aimed shots from cover or concealment without exposing more than a bare minimum of himself to observation or enemy fire. For that matter, there is no reason that the display even needs to be physically mounted on the gun itself. To demonstrate this, I made a bracket that would allow me to mount my phone on a tactical helmet. This hands-free, head-mounted display allowed me to take accurate aimed shots from a retention position or from behind cover or concealment. Thus, crude as it is, I think this proof-of-concept prototype goes a long way towards demonstrating the enormous potential of the modular digital rifle scope concept. I don't really have the resources to develop this concept any further at this time, but my hope is that companies that do have the resources will pick up where I have left off. Actually, some are already headed in that direction. Based on their presentation at the last SHOT Show, a company called GunEye is currently developing a rail-mountable camera with a phone app to superimpose a crosshair on the video feed. However, based on the specifications listed on their website, I have a couple of concerns about their implementation of this idea. First, it looks like they've designed the camera mostly for use indoors in low light, with onboard infrared LEDs for night vision capability. Thus, given what I saw with the A9 camera, I'm wondering how the gun eye camera will perform in full sunlight, and whether the sensor will oversaturate and wash out the picture like it did in my proof of concept prototype. Second, the gun eye seems to have a rather wide field of view, which in a system like this functionally translates into fractional magnification. That said, I still think the gun eye project is a step in the right direction. In the near future, I hope to see more cameras better suited to this application appearing on the market at increasingly reasonable prices, and accompanied by increasingly sophisticated reticle apps that drive the video lag time down to less than a tenth of a second, or just a couple of video frames. 
further in the future, perhaps we'll even see affordable heads-up tactical displays hitting the market. But for now, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.